Hello, in this problem we have a sequence and we're being asked to determine if it converges or if it diverges. So this is kind of an interesting problem. Um, on the bottom, n is getting bigger. So as n goes to infinity, n gets big, so the bottom is getting big. Up top, we can think about what's happening. Let's see, if n is even, right, n is always an integer, so it's even or odd. If n is even, you get negative 1 to an even power, so you get 1. If n is odd, n is odd, you get negative 1 to an odd power, so that's always negative 1. So you're adding 9 to it in both cases. So if n is even, you get 9 plus 1, so you get 10. If n is odd, you get 9 minus 1, so it's 8. So the top piece is always going to be 8 or 10. Pretty cool. Let me let me go over that again. So if n is even, negative 1 to the n is negative 1 to an even number, so it's 1. If n is odd, you get negative 1 to an odd number, so it's negative 1. So if it's even, you're adding 9 plus 1, so you get 10. If it's odd, you're doing 9 minus 1, so you get 8. So the top is always just going to be 8 or 10, 8 or 10, 8 or 10. And the bottom is getting really, 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 really big. So this thing is getting really, really small. So this should approach 0. So the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n should be equal to 0. And that should be the limit of the sequence. And so in this case, we say the sequence converges. Right? It converges. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who's uh, trying to learn some calculus. Good luck and take care.